the owner of the Los Angeles Lakers, Janie Buss, took to her Twitter account to maybe just maybe take a shot at some of the current Los Angeles Lakers, maybe even including LeBron, Anthony Davis, and Russell Westbrook. Janie tweeted out, I miss Kobe. KB is what she said. He would understand and explain everything, and I'm not allowed to. Honestly, he was the greatest Laker ever. He understood team over self, meaning your rewards would come if you value team goals over your own, then everything would fall into place. She even said, all can reply. Uh, first off, I want to be respectful to Jeannie Buss. Look, I miss Kobe Bryant dearly. He is my favorite athlete of all time. And whomever is second is not even close and not even worth discussing and mentioning in this video. I miss Kobe. As much as I miss Kobe, I was merely just a fan. It felt like I knew this guy, but in all actuality, I never got to meet Kobe Bryant. I didn't know him personally. So the pain that that man's family, real friends, loved ones, including Jeannie Buzz must have on a daily, I can't imagine. Jeannie was a friend of Kobe's. Kobe was a friend of Jeannie's. It was clear as day. Jeannie loved her some Kobe. She's really tight with magic. But I think she loved us from Kobe. And I'm sure Kobe was not only a friend, but a confidant and a trustee in what the Lakes, Los Angeles Lakers were about to do as a franchise. They had got LeBron. They were on their way to get Anthony Davis. And then got AD as Kobe was starting to come to games more often. Things were looking up for the Lakers. And then, obviously, January 26th of 2020 happened. Can't believe it sometimes, but it is the reality of the world that we live in that exists without Kobe Bryant being in it. Alongside Gigi and seven others who, unfortunately, were taken away from us in that helicopter crash right around the world. I got to admit something, though. Though I know Jeannie maybe started her tweet out of a place of saying, I miss Kobe in remembrance of Kobe. There is no way on God's green earth can I look at that tweet and not think it's not a shot at either LeBron and or Anthony Davis and or Russell Westbrook. There is no way. Fam, she didn't have to tweet this. She didn't have to tweet this. Maybe I'll add Magic Johnson to that mix. We know how Magic Johnson's tenure as VP of LA ended. I'm not going to be here. I, I, It has to be a shot at one of those four people, if not all. There's no reason as an owner of a basketball team to tweet that. You, you, you cannot mix your emotions in with business when you're an owner of a franchise. And what Jeannie Buss did was play her hand. She showed that the Lakers are a mess right now. That's what I take from that tweet. My Los Angeles Lakers, a team that I've been loving since I was five, a team that Jeannie's been around pretty much her entire life. She flatfoot said, the Lakers are a mess, and I am trying to fix it. But some of these guys are personally branding over what's best for the team. Now, I know a decent amount of Russell Westbrook, and one thing I don't believe Russell Westbrook to be is undedicated to the game of basketball. Now, on the court, it's me, me, me. But he does the right things before the court starts, before the game starts, excuse me. Anthony Davis, I don't know. I don't know. LeBron James is the person that this tweet really hits home with me with. And if Jeannie is tweeting about LeBron publicly, I think this is dead wrong. If she's speaking about LeBron in this context, comparing him to Kobe, she's dead wrong for this for a lot of different reasons. Number one, LeBron James will be looked at as a Cleveland Cavalier first and then maybe second a Miami Heat, and then third a Los Angeles Lakers. It will, never ch it will never change. The Lakers will never be looked at as LeBron James's franchise. LeBron will never be looked at as Mr. Los Angeles Lakers. That title goes to guys like Magic, even Kobe, and even Kareem, even Shaq, before they go to LeBron James. And he understands that. He's got Cleveland. Cleveland will always be about LeBron James, period. 
He knows that. We all know that. Comparing LeBron James to Kobe, if that's what Jeannie Buss was doing, is wrong. Look at the spot where the Lakers got LeBron. It's in the back end of his prime. 33-34-ish. Had already given the game of basketball so much. Just wanted to retire a Laker and start his second career, which is Hollywood. And everything that comes with it as being a probably a billionaire. That's what LeBron's goal was. If he could win while doing that, great. But LeBron was thinking post his first career and thinking his second career. That was the reason why he came to Los Angeles. The Lakers are a starred franchise. And I think Jeannie Bless included just thought, we got LeBron James, which means we're right back in the championship window. And, hey, we did win one. It was the bubble, but we still got one of them things, baby. Jeannie Buss is dead wrong. If she's talking about LeBron James publicly, dead wrong. You can't do it that way. Maybe she's reached level of frustrations that me and you can't fathom. Maybe the Rich Paul component of it. You know, Anthony Davis and LeBron are both Rich Paul clients. Kentavious Caldwell Pope was a Rich Paul client when he was in L.A. Free agents like John Wall have been available for the Los Angeles Lakers, which I thought would have been a much better fit than Russell Westbrook. Could the Lakers have really not wanted what Wall because – they didn't want another Rich Paul client at the forefront of their franchise. John Wall is represented by Rich, for those who don't know. I don't know. Something about the business, I believe to be of LeBron James, is irritating Jeannie Buss. And let me just say this. I love Kobe. I love me some Kobe. Again, he's my favorite, man. When somebody dies, especially earlier than expected, Oftentimes, you see, I see it all the time. Oftentimes, it only feels right to celebrate the good of that person. We can't even acknowledge that the person was flawed like all of us are. We are flawed. We are flawed, all of us, in some capacity. There was bad with Kobe and the Lakers. He wanted out of L.A. at one point in time. I remember it. He was done. Fed up with the Lakers. At the end of his career, Kobe did take a big deal at the time with the salary cap based on what it was. That did hinder the Lakers from going out and getting some talent to put around them post the Pau Gasol era. He did take a big contract, a thank you Kobe contract. He did take that, which pretty much put Kobe into retirement in regards to winning. It was pretty much a retirement tour for Kobe towards the end of, end of his tenure at L.A. We don't talk about that part of it because we lost Kobe tragically. Tragically. And to be real with you, a lot of Laker fans didn't like the idea of bringing LeBron in before the Kobe thing happened. Kobe deserves to be revered. He is Los Angeles Lakers royalty. He is basketball royalty, rest in peace. But I don't think it's fair to compare him to LeBron. Kobe might have been too focused on winning, which is why I have him, by the way, as a better player than LeBron James. LeBron's had a better career. Kobe was a better player to me than LeBron was because he was all about winning. LeBron is really dedicated to winning, but really dedicated to other stuff. And by the way, LeBron's a richer man than what Kobe died as. LeBron's been better at business than Kobe was. And Mike, by the way. LeBron's a billionaire while still playing. He'll eclipse Michael Jordan's net worth for the next couple years. Even though Michael Jordan has the biggest shoe ever. Like, LeBron's about to eclipse that. You do realize that, right? He's going to do it because of his business acumen. His great branding. So you got to kind of look at it from where you fit in. Are you just a Los Angeles Lakers fan where you're like, I don't care about LeBron's business. I just want to win. You're probably going to agree with what Jeannie's got to say. Kobe was your guy, not LeBron. If you're a law, if you're a LeBron James fan and it's all about what's best for LeBron and you want to see him win by any means necessary, well, you're probably against what Jeannie had to say if you believe it to be about LeBron. Because LeBron's winning in more than just NBA championships, he is running a phenomenal business. Here's the thing. 
me or you can feel a way about LeBron, Kobe, the argument that will never end, whatever. The owner of the basketball team that LeBron James is giving whatever he's got left in the tank to should not see a tweet like that on social media because if nothing else, it can be perceived to be a shot at LeBron, AD, Westbrook, the Lakers as a team right now. It's like y'all not doing what Kobe would have did. Okay, Kobe's gone now. Not just from a retirement standpoint, he's no longer here. There is no point to do that publicly when you're running a team right now that could use you right now positively doing something. I get it. It's probably frustrating as heck for Jeannie to be doing this with this Lakers group right now. Look, the NBA is a business, a multi-billion dollar business, and the players are starting to realize that they are businesses. I get it. Are these guys 100% focused on winning? No, they are not. Jeannie, though, you, you cannot do that publicly. You, you have to have more wherewithal to do that about one of your star athletes who, by the way, is as dedicated to the game of basketball overall than we've, as we've ever seen. And, and, and career is extending longer than Kobe was, meaning at this point in both of their careers, LeBron's got a little more in the tank than Kobe did. The, the facts are the facts.